All right, so today we're looking at starting our next topic, which as you can see is sampling and sampling distributions. So we'll be uh, looking at what that's all about. All right, so it's to do with statistics and taking surveys and things like that. So, um, and then because sometimes we can sample everyone, sometimes we can't. And so um, that's where the distributions comes into it and looking at uh, the validity or otherwise. Okay, so some definitions today and uh, then we'll go. Just, it's quite a short one, just a few questions. So some definitions, so population, population is everyone in the group. So an example here, they're all students at WHS, so population doesn't have to be a country. It can be a particular group. So all, everyone at, or we're all students at Wangaratta High School would be a population if that was all you were looking at. All right, a sample. So a sample is a selection from from the group. So say we chose 100 out of the students, then that's a sample. All right, and for our survey or whatever it is that we're looking at to be valid, then it needs to be a random sample. All right, so if we want to know something that's going on at Wanger at a high school, we need to take a random sample. We can't just go to 7A and ask those those students and see what they think and say, yeah, there you go. Um, we would need to take a random sample. So any person in the population has equal chance of being selected. And so a random number, number generator may be used to select. So um, you could number all the students and then you could use a random number generator to select, you know, a hundred of those or however many you wanted. All right, so <clears throat> your calculator we will use to do that. And here's the handout that I should give you um, on how to do random numbers. I'm going to use that um, in the example. All right, so then back to our definitions. So here's an example. Use a random number generator to select a sample of five people from the table on page 350. Okay, so here's the, the um, sample or the group of people, the population um, on page 350. And we want five of them. And so you can see each of these people has got a, a number next to them. So that's their ID number. And then we'll use the random number generator to do that. So if you're following through on the um, the handout, the walkthrough. So to do that, we need to go to random number generator is in the keyboard. And then we need to go um, down because it's not in any of these. In fact, what we need to go down is we need to go down to the catalog. Right, so the catalog has every function on the calculator. And this is a random number generator. So you can see here, we don't want to scroll all the way down to R. Um, so you can use this up here and we can click across R, uh, rand, there's a rand bin, rand list, rand norm, rand seed. Rand. All right. <clears throat> so depending on what we want to do, we'll use the Rand bin and the Rand norm later. But we don't want just a random number. We want a list of random numbers. So we need to select that one. So click on it. And Rand list. All right. So we want um, five people so we then go five five people um, between the numbers one and down here 50 so between one and 50 
So what it's going to do now is it's going to generate, and I'll press EXE, it doesn't matter which, <coughs> excuse me, which one I do, it's now going to down here put a list. There we go, 50, 11, 1, 2, and 17. So 50, 11, 1, 2, and 17. 50, 11, 1, 2, and 17. Now you'll notice when if I do that again, you get a different set of numbers, all right? So that's supposed to happen. You're supposed to get a different one each time because um, it's supposed to be generating some random numbers. So based on the first ones that I did, we selected number 50, number 11, number 1, number 2, and number 17. All right, and so then perhaps we have to do something with those um, people that we've selected. All right, so there's that. All right, so then we need to know the difference between, say, population and sample. So population parameters, sample statistics are the terms that are used. And you see the symbols, so for population proportion, sample proportion, um, the symbols are very similar. But see the sample's got a little hat. All right, so it's just how the proportion of the population or the proportion of the sample um, that have a particular characteristic. So. And the population, it's a number in the population divided by how big that population is. But if you've got a sample, like in that previous one, um, you know, it might be the number of females out of the 50 of them. That would be the population parameter. And then when we took our sample, the number of females out of that five sample proportion. And those two may or may not be the same. Uh, population mean, sample mean, again, it's to do with the population and the sample. So if we use mu for the population and x bar for a sample. All right, and so then we just add them all up and divide by the population, add them all up from the sample and divide by the sample size. All right, so that's, uh, well, that's it, about it. All right, so I've just kind of taken this and summarised that. So sample proportion and population mean are population parameters and the sample proportion and sample mean are sample statistics. All right, and so the thing about the population ones is that the values are constant for a given population, whereas here they vary from sample to sample. It's important to keep that in mind. Mind. Okay, so one last thing is if you see in a question the word census used, the word census means that the whole population has been asked. All right, so if we go back to our uh, WHS students as our population, then that means that every single one of those students would have been asked the question and every single one of those students would have uh, responded. Okay, so if you read the word census, you know it's a population, all right? So census, population. All right, so that's it. There's just a few questions on that stuff um, from the textbook that I'll get you to do. Essentially, what it relies on is doing something like this, generating some random numbers, selecting from a group, and then working out you know, some statistics uh, based on that. All right, as usual, have fun, and you need, if you need help, get back to me.